Hey guys, it's Katie Edwards here with Trident Anti-Aging, and today we're gonna to talk about glutathione. Glutathione is a naturally occurring peptide in all of our bodies. It's made up of three different types of amino acids, glutamate, cysteine, and glycine. The great thing about glutathione is how it works in our body is it acts to reduce free radicals. Free radicals are what our body produces anytime it gets stressed out. So our liver gets stressed out when we drink alcohol, our skin gets stressed out when it sees sun, our brains get stressed out when we stare at computer screens all day. So these free radicals constantly are building up in our bodies. What happens is, is over time, these abundance of free radicals start to cause infection, inflammation, disease, cancers. It's not a good thing. So glutathione exists to go around and clean up those extra free radicals. The older we get, the less glutathione our body makes. So some of the benefits of glutathione that we can actually see are it significantly decreases elevated liver functions. Liver functions can be elevated due to alcohol consumption, anti-inflammatory use, um, taking supplements, medications. So decreasing those levels really helps to detoxify the body. Glutathione also helps with skin cell turnover. So we've noticed a big difference in skin tightening and skin brightness also helps a lot from an immune standpoint. So especially with flu season, glutathione helps to keep our immune system nice and healthy. Glutathione in studies has also been shown to help to significantly decrease the severity of um, Alzheimer's and dementia disease, uh, especially in elderly patients. The nice thing also about glutathione is because it exists naturally in our body, there's no side effects to taking it. There's three ways that you can get glutathione, orally, sublingually, and injection. The oral use of glutathione, though not wrong, only allows for a very small amount to be actually available to your body. By the time you take it orally and it gets digested through your stomach, your liver, your kidneys, very little is actually getting into the bloodstream. Peptides need to get into the bloodstream quickly in order to be distributed throughout the body. That's why the sublingual or underneath your tongue approach or injectable is the best way to take it.